Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 16 of the Fair Housing Insiders. We thank you for being here today. Uh, just remember to sign up for our or subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up for this episode. We're very grateful for your continuing support of this complimentary fair housing education. And today it's another exciting episode, not only for because of the content we're going to share with you, we're going to be diving into, into documentation and why that is so, so important when it comes to fair housing but also to welcome Michael Coughlin, Vice President of the uh, Fair Housing Institute. So glad to have him on the show today, and he's going to be on many, many more episodes for the calendar year. So, Michael, welcome to the show. Jonathan, thank, thanks so much for having me today. I'm uh, really excited to be a part of this team and get this information, this really crucial information, out to the, uh, to the housing industry. Yeah, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, sharing some nice tips with our audience today. So as I mentioned earlier, we're talking about documentation and why it is so essential. No matter what's going on on the property, document, document, document. Very, very crucial. So we're going to take a look at a couple of scenarios, and Michael and I are going to have a, a little discussion on them. He's going to share some feedback and some tips for our audience today. So our first scene that we're going to dive into is a prospect who comes into the leasing office and is looking for a two-bedroom, but is told that no two bedrooms are available. So let's look at our scene, and we'll get Michael's feedback on what happened. Hi. I don't have an appointment, but I'm hoping somebody could show me the two-bedroom apartment you have available. I would be happy to show you our one or three bedroom apartments, but unfortunately we have no two bedroom apartments available at the moment. Really? My work colleague was in here earlier on his lunch break and looked at an apartment and he said you had a two bedroom available. You mean I came all the way over here for nothing? Oh man, Jonathan, I, I cannot tell you how many times I have seen this. Availability um, for your units is a really big area of concern when it comes to documentation. Um, in this scenario, somebody comes in and they, um, they're looking for a two bedroom, obviously, like you saw, and they were told there wasn't one, but, um, but they told somebody earlier in the day that there was. So which is it? Well, the problem with our documentation is we don't know. Right. Um, did they, did they discriminate? And it turns out that they just didn't want to offer that second person the two bedroom. Was it really actually leased? And now it's not available. But without that documentation, we don't know. And guess what? A fair housing complaint is on its way. And unfortunately, without that documentation, you don't have a proper defense against it. It is crucial that every single person in your office is properly documenting their interactions with guests and residents and that that apartment availability is always up to date and everybody on your staff knows exactly what is available, when it's available, and when it was leased and that anybody can come in and audit the process and look through and see that day by day, hour by hour. That way, even if a fair housing complaint is filed, people will know the truth that you did not discriminate, that this is just a matter of the fact that it was leased before the second person came. Yeah, yeah. I like how you, you highlighted the communication aspect of the process. So it's very, very busy on site, and things can get hectic real quick. But documentation. Yes. In, in this scenario that we're talking about is is absolute must and, and being able to communicate that amongst uh, your staff and your team you know that that's very very important yeah nice reminder nice tip Michael on what needs to be done uh, to make sure that you know how nice it would be to, yeah it was available but it, it it this happened we just had someone come in they just so sorry you, you, you missed it but we do have this available so if everybody's got that on the same page, then it makes it less awkward and, and you may, still may be able to rent something else out to that potential uh, prospect. So nice tips, excellent feedback. Okay, so our second scene. So in this uh, scenario, a resident has uh, made a complaint in the past, is coming in and is complaining again about strong odors, strong smells coming from the next door apartment. So let's take a look at the scene, and uh, we'll get your take and, and your feedback on, on this scenario, Michael. Is there anything you can do about this smell that's coming from apartment 4A? 
I called last month about it and talked to the old manager. She said she would look into it, but I never heard back. My allergies are out of control because that smell is so strong. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. But I look through your file and I don't see any record that you called about this issue. All right, so we have a few problems here. Um, first of all, this resident is coming in and they're com obviously they're complaining about a smell. It's affecting them in a certain way. So we're kind of bordering on the fact that they could have been asking for a reasonable accommodation the first time, and it just doesn't really flesh out. Now, we're not going to get into that today, but that just causes a whole load of problems. The fact that they may have asked for that, you didn't really acknowledge it, and obviously we're dealing with it because nobody wrote it, wrote it down. Now, we have a new manager in this scenario, and the, and the original complaint was with the previous manager. A lot of people don't talk about this, but one of the biggest problems with documentation is it's not recognized until after an employee left. So, you know, right. they did all this work and, you know, you're trying to figure out who they told what. So you go back to your files and you realize, oh, my Lord, they are missing so much documentation. There, there's nothing there. How do we pick up where we left off? So the, what to take away from this is not only, obviously, like we said, throughout the episode is you need to document these scenarios, these interactions with residents when they complain, when they, anything significant, it needs to be in their file. But there need to be, needs to be a regular audit process throughout the office of the documentation. Uh, go through these files, make sure that all these guests and resident interactions are there and that every employee is keeping them up to date and properly filed. Because if they're not, they're useless. Uh, then it becomes a he yeah. said, she said, who, who, when did she? Uh, when did the resident file the complaint? Did they file a complaint? Who was it? Who uh, was it given to? You don't know if it's not written down. It seems sometimes like tedious bureaucracy, but I promise you, it will save you a ton of time, a ton of money, and maybe even your job. Right, right. Excellent tips. Excellent feedback, and hey, Michael, you know, and I to kind of piggyback off a couple of things that you mentioned. It's, it's that. Uh, and it happens in the industry all the time. Portfolios change. You know, management companies take over a property. Uh, they're bought out or it's a different fee-managed company that's taking over the property. And so that transfer of documentation is so essential. And like you mentioned, good auditing, making sure that that's uh, always uh, up to date. Because if you don't have documentation and there becomes uh, some sort of allegation of fair housing violation, well, it's uh, the property management company is going to be spending a, <laughs> a whole bunch of money on. Hot on water real quick. Yeah, yeah, and we you just just want to avoid that. So that's uh, great tips. Yeah, thank you so much, Michael. Great feedback. So that's uh, really important. That's our tip for this particular episode. Make sure you document everything. It's going to save you a whole lot of headaches and make uh, your job a lot uh, less. Uh, uh, challenging and a lot, um, you know, being able to clearly communicate with the residents what's going on, being able to have that uh, that tracked well. So thank you everyone for being here for today's episode. This has been episode 16, focusing on why documentation is so necessary. Be sure to stay to the end. There's another video that relates to all kinds of uh, fair housing topics and other content that is available for you. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell so that you're notified when new episodes become available. Be sure to check out our courses online, fairhousinginstitute.com. We want to thank you for being here, and we'll see you on our next show. Take care, everyone.